Thanks for tuning in uh, to hear our weekly update. As uh, most of you are aware, uh, there have been uh, new updates in terms of COVID-19 um, that we will be uh, touching base uh, with you today on um, and leading up to the holiday season. Um, please note that this is our last Facebook Live update for 2020. Um, our plan is to resume our updates on Monday, January the 11th, 2021. And on that, it's my pleasure to turn it over to Mayor Bridge. Thanks, Derek. And uh, I'll just maybe start off with about the talk a little bit about the lockdown and uh, and maybe go through that, and then we'll we'll go forward from there. As COVID nineteen cases continue to rise and alarming at alarming rate, the Ontario government, in con consultation with the chief medical officer and other health experts, imposed the province wide. Uh, shutdown. Additional restrictions will put in we put in place and reinforce the uh, Ontario's to stay at home as much as possible to minimize the transmission of the virus and prevent hospitals from becoming overwhelmed. And that's very important. Our hospitals, although we're, they're very small and they don't have a lot of uh, bed space, so province-wide shutdown will go in effect Saturday, December 26, 2020, at 12:01 a.m. The current uh, the current COVID-19 response framework will be paused when the provincial wide shutdown comes into the effect. So we won't be in red anymore. We'll be actually in this new shutdown. The impacts of these time limited measures will be evaluated through the 14 days in Northern Ontario and 28 days in Southern Ontario to determine if it's safe to lift any restrictions or if they're needed to be extended. I'm gonna turn it over to Derek now to just talk a bit about our, our local uh, situation and what we'll be doing there. Derek, if you could take that over. Yep, thank you, Mr. Mayor. The town of Minto, um, we will be closing our municipal buildings to the public as of December 24th, 2020 at 5 p.m. And, and as you know, that's the regular closure for, uh, for the Christmas break. All our arenas um, will now be closed until January 24th at the earliest. Um, but our recreation staff will continue to monitor the facilities and the ice plants to ensure the maintenance is kept up and that the ice surfaces remain viable so that our community organizations can return as soon as the restrictions can be lifted. Um, I'll remind you again, the Norgan Theatre will remain closed uh, to the public until January 24th, uh, 2021 as well. Um, our municipal building will be closed um, from noon on the 24th, uh, 2020, and resume our regular working hours on January 4th. Um, that is to say that would, would have been our regular Christmas closure anyway. Um, the building still isn't open to the public, but municipal staff continue to operate um, inside the building um, under, under the restrictions, and those... Um, need to, those that need to visit town and mental officers are required to make an appointment um, with staff they need to speak with. And we encourage um, all bill payments to either be made electronically or through the Dropbox located at the office. And as always, staff will be continuing to work in a variety of uh, different alternate locations with access to emails and voicemails. Um, so if you need to get a hold of staff, you can call the town of Minto at 519-338-2511 and follow the prompts um, to reach the appropriate voicemail that you need and or electronic communications is also encouraged. And you can find all the staff contact information on our website at town.mental.on.ca uh, forward slash contact us. Um, if you have any questions regarding uh, COVID-19, you should contact Wellington Dufferin Public Health at 1-800-265-7293, or you can visit them at www.wdgpublichealth.ca forward slash coronavirus. And on that, uh, Mr. Mayor, I can turn it back to you. Thank, thank you, Derek. And uh, maybe uh, just to uh, follow up on a message from public health. As a reminder, uh, that as of Tuesday, December 1st, a breakdown of the active COVID-19 cases by municipalities available to view on status of cases in the Wellington Dufferin Public Health Unit website dashboard. And I would suggest you go on there on a regular basis just to have an idea of where we are and, and how that's going on. The new breakdown can be found under the cases tab 
and where the button is called cases for municipality, just hover over that uh, button and you, each map. So if you see Minto, just go over there and it'll give you the, the uh, number of cases in Minto and Wellington North, Mapleton and, and those uh, other areas in Wellington. So to get more details, they'll be on the map. Several other improvements and updates have been made on the dashboard. So visit www.dgpublichealth.ca to browse and update the dashboard now. Please note that the case data in the dashboard is updated weekly around 10.30. Uh, and you know, you go on there, you can actually find things like uh, how many tests were done in Minto and, and where our situation is. So it gives you a good idea of where you're, what's happening in Wellington itself. Uh, so the lockdown, lockdown starts at December 26th, but people don't need to wait. Uh, people can start making good choices today by limiting their contacts and staying at home except for essential trips. Wellington County Dufferin expects to have their first shipment of vaccine in the near future. Uh, this is great and hopefully the development of the public health can begin vaccinating individuals within 24 hours of receiving the COVID uh, vaccine from the province. And I heard just heard today that the next vaccine has been approved now. So that's the one that actually can get out there uh, a little farther out than the, the Pfizer one. And so we'll hopefully we'll get our, our uh, nursing homes and our public health people uh, looked after as far as our, our healthcare workers. So we need, to all, we need to do all our can to keep ourselves safe until our region has been widely vaccinated against the COVID-19. So celebrate the holidays with your immediate household only. Uh, Public Health asked you to continue to follow up on all public health guidelines in order to keep everyone safe and healthy. With a lockdown coming up, this puts our small business community in a very difficult position. So please remember that they are closed, they're doing everything in their power to pivot and adapt so we can serve, they can serve you. So please remember to shop and spend locally. So right now our active cases are, we're down to one. And uh, as you know, we were up about 15 at one time. We're, we're down to one. You've done an excellent job of, of working hard and keeping the protocols in place within the town of Minto. Um, but just, to, just to, for instance, our next door neighbor now is at 12 again, and that's Wellington North. So it can go up and down. You never know. So you just got to keep vigil. There, there's been over 52 cases current, uh, that have been actually in our town since the beginning of the pandemic. So now I'm going to turn it over to, uh, I think, Belinda. No, is it back to you, Derek? It's back, back to me, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Sorry. Yeah. Um, I, I just want to reiterate what the mayor said is, you know, as Christmas quickly approaches, please celebrate only with those you live with. Um, if you're single, you, you can join one, one household. Um, as the mayor said, we are seeing lower cases in our municipality, and thank you so much for that. But let's not, you know, let's not let our guard down. Um, you know, COVID knows no, no knows really no boundaries, um, and, I, and I've said it before. It bears repeating. In Wellington, Dufferin, Guelph, we have 27 ICU beds for a population of over 300,000. Last week, there were 22 people using those beds, and hospitalizations continue to rise with COVID. So the point we're really trying to hit home with you today is take care and let's not overwhelm our healthcare system so that everybody can get the appropriate healthcare they need. Um, we all have a role to play in ensuring that there's enough healthcare resources for COVID and not COVID needs. So again, please continue to follow all the public health guidelines to make sure that we can meet the health needs of everybody in, in the county. Um, just as a reminder, Mintel does have uh, two assessment centers. Um, we have uh, a, a, a an assessment location in Harrison, and we have now one in Palmerston. Um, they are staffed by the Mount Forest Family Health Team and the Wellington Healthcare Alliance. Um, the Mintel location is uh, Harrison Railway Station, located at 83 Arthur Street West and the Mental Rural Health Center, 500 Whites Road in Palmerston. Uh, the Harrison Assessment Center is open Tuesdays and Thursdays from 9 to 5 p.m. Uh, the Palmerston Assessment Center is open on Saturdays from 10 to 4, but just please keep in mind they do close for lunch between 12.30 and 1.30. Um, and you need to book an appointment, and you can do that at whcacovid.com. 
dot com or by calling two two six three eight three two four one five. Um we didn't have any community submitted questions today. So I think on that note I get to turn it over to Jess. Wonderful. Thanks, Derek. Um, and thanks, Mayor Bridge, uh, for the update thus far. I am going to come on today to talk a little bit about our mental health during the holidays. For many holiday or for many people, sorry, the holiday season is going to look really different this year. And the realities of COVID-19 have put holiday traditions on hold, which is really tough for many of us. Um, a busy month that's often filled with quality time with families and friends, religious holidays and New Year's traditions will be spent physically apart. Being apart from friends and family during this holiday season can really take a toll on our mental health. Um, and I want to put some emphasis on taking care of ourselves during this time and how we can do that because this year is going to look a little different and especially leading into the holidays and then into a lockdown I wanted to give you some tips of how we can take care of our our mental health because it is important and often we forget about it sometimes and I wanted to pop on before we all go into holiday mode to remind everyone so although this holiday season may be very different there are still ways um, to maintain your mental health and find some joy. So adjust your expectations. Celebrations this time will be different. I've said that and that's okay. Be sure to set your expectations to what is possible this holiday season and find joy in how you can celebrate this year. Maybe it's a virtual dinner. Maybe it's um, playing virtual games with our friends and our family uh, online. We have the technology now, so utilize that to try and stay connected in that way. Get outside um, and enjoy that fresh air. Go for a walk, toboggan down a hill once we get that snow that they're hopefully calling. I love do going tobogganing. Um, Maybe go snowshoeing and pick up a, a winter activity that you haven't been able to do. Snowshoeing is beautiful and it's great for your mental health and clarity in your mind. Build a snowman. We have a cool contest coming up with the Rotary Club of Guelph um, starting in January. So participate in that. Oh, sorry, I said Rotary Club of Guelph. I meant Clifford. Um, but uh, get involved with that. It's snow, uh, snow sculptures with a twist. So be sure to follow along on our Facebook page for more information about that. Uh, slow down. I'm someone who needs this, uh, this reminder often, but take some time to slow down. Enjoy the things you are able to do during these times. Uh, might mean taking a moment for yourself to read a book, taking a much needed nap, if you can, sometimes with the kids home, that's not possible, but try. And uh, maybe reading some stories to your family members virtually. So if you are a grandparent and you wanna read to your grandchildren virtually, we have that opportunity now. Maybe watch your favorite movie. Um, take some time for you and slow down. Be grateful, take the time to stop and exercise gratitude. It can be natural to focus on all what's going wrong, but take each time um, our a time each day to really focus on the things that you are grateful for. We have our health. I'm grateful for the family within my home that I can spend Christmas with. Gratitude journals are great. And if you want resources like that, be sure to email us um, and we'd be happy to help you with those resources. Um, and last but not least, be okay with not being okay. It's a difficult time right now. It's uncertain. It's change and change is tough. Don't feel like you have to be productive or happy. Sadness, anger, and disappointment are all natural feelings and acknowledging them is the first step to feeling better. Find a close family member or friend that you can talk to and identify some supports that you have in your community that can help navigate your mental health. Contact here 24 seven if you're in crisis or needing support, they can be contacted at 1-844-437-3247. Four, seven, and their name says it all. They are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, even on holidays. So reach out because holidays aren't always the happiest times for everyone. And we want to make sure that you know these resources are available for you. Um, I do want to give you a reminder to be uh, sure to check out mentalmentalhealth.ca for other resources and um, email us at mentalhealth@town.minto.on.ca if you have any questions or need any guidance navigating through these um, resources. There's resources on there for COVID specific and other um, 
other categories as well. And on behalf of Minta Mental Health, I just want to wish everyone a very happy holiday season and to be sure to take care of your mental health and know that it's okay not to be okay, but reach out. Uh, there's lots of resources out there and we want to make sure that you're mentally well and we will get through this together. Um, so with that, I will pass it back over um, and I believe it'll be Belinda coming up for another uh, update. So thank you and happy holidays to everyone. Thanks, Jess. Um, yeah, hi everybody. With only uh, two days left to go in our shopping here before Christmas, obviously wanna encourage you to continue supporting our local businesses. I think everyone's done a really good job this year. Um, with that, we've heard good reports from our retailers that people are um, taking that into consideration. So thanks, keep it up. But not just uh, for the holiday season, we really need this to keep up uh, going into the new year as well. Um, and there's a lot of ways you continue to do this. Uh, you can take out uh, from our local restaurants, you can shop online or order by phone, inquire about curbside pickup or delivery, purchase your local business gift cards. And again, Think Minto First has been a huge resource for people this year and a really easy way without going out of your house to support local. And then you can find out all about local products and services at wellington.ca slash local biz. Next up, I wanna really address our business community. Um, this lockdown is obviously not going to be easy. It wasn't the first time and it's not going to be this time. But on a good note, uh, there are a lot of programs out there that our businesses can access. And I just wanna highlight a couple of them really quick. Um, the first one coming out in January is the Ontario Small Business Support Grant. And this is anywhere from 10 to $20,000 grant. And it looks to me like quite a few businesses can um, qualify for this. And this will be coming out in January. Also, our Saugeen Economic Development Corporation has the Regional Relief and Recovery Fund, which again is a loan <coughs> program. And uh, that is available right now. Uh, we also have uh, partnered with Saugeen Economic Development to do a business resurgence program. And this is all about free coaching and consulting services to help your business surge next year. Um, the Ontario provincial government, again, has come up with the Ontario Main Street Relief Grant. So there's grants for $1,000 for PPE, as well as rebates on your energy bills and property taxes. And now that we are in lockdown, you can apply for the Candy Emergency Rent Subsidy. So anybody that is renting a property, um, this is not through the landlords this time, this is through the businesses. Um, and if you're confused about what you can or can't do during the lockdown, uh, the framework is available, as is all the information on these grants on the Minto Chamber of Commerce website. So I know Taylor's going to put the link here. Um, definitely direct everyone to go and check out all this stuff. And although Launch It is going to be closed um, during the lockdown, Summer and I are here for you, and we're not going to leave you hanging. If you have any questions at all, we are available to uh, help you navigate these programs and I encourage you to please reach out um, and access these that are available to you. So um, our emails are available on the Launch It website or on the town website. And yeah, just reach out. Don't uh, be shy. We're here to help. And that's all for me. Great. Thanks so much, um, Belinda. A um, couple of uh, additional updates we have. Um, please note that on Friday, December 25th, uh, curbside collection is actually rescheduled to Monday, December uh, 28th. Waste uh, facilities are open on Thursdays um, and they'll be closing at 2 p.m. Um, on Thursday, December 24th. And all waste facilities will be closed on Friday, December 25th and Saturday, December 26th. So um, the Town of Mental wishes to thank uh, you for your ongoing understanding as we understand really the toll that COVID-19 is taking on our communities or on our community and our residents and individuals, both from a physical and mental and emotional health. Um, we, can, we will continue to do our best to serve mental and its residents and reminding you to follow us on the Town of Mental uh, Facebook page for daily updates and community information. Um, you know, we've done a great job so far. Let's continue to work together to protect uh, our most vulnerable and keep our businesses uh, open as, as much as we can. And, and also for our children in school, please continue to follow all the public health guidelines. 
So I just want to take this opportunity to wish uh, you all a very Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays and a very Happy New Year and stay kind and stay strong. Um, and we're, remember, we're in this together and you're not alone and, and take care. Thanks very much. Yeah. Thanks, Derek. And I wish everybody from the council, uh, myself, a uh, Merry Christmas and a happy and healthy new year. And uh, as they say, we're, we're getting to the end of this, I hope, and uh, keep up the good work that you've done in the past. Thank you very much.